Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about the reality of job hunting and the constant rejection that we all face. It can be really demoralizing getting rejection after rejection after rejection. And I just kind of wanted to address this and share some of my thoughts. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a new perspective on job hunting and we'll be able to handle those inevitable offer declined letters in a more healthy way. So you might have seen this in some of my other videos. I kind of have this framework or checklist that I use for job hunting for both IT jobs and cybersecurity jobs, where I have like a list of things that you can implement or do and like how well you do them kind of increase your chances of getting hired at any given job. These things might be getting certification, getting some knowledge or education, creating some experience for yourself, having a good resume, being able to interview well, like practicing your interviews and these kind of things. So basically a list of stuff that you can implement to increase your chances of getting hired. These things are all in your control and you should really work to kind of max out all these different areas. And the reality is, even if you max out all these things as much as they possibly could go and you're like the absolute perfect candidate and you like know everything and your resume is perfect, I have this theory that at best you have like a 40% chance of getting like any given job and that's if you are the perfect candidate and no one is like really perfect. 40% is just kind of a number I made up to represent an idea. But what I'm trying to say is, regardless of like how good you are and how perfect of a candidate you are, your chances of getting any given job are like not that great. So even if you max out this framework, there's like some things in place that are actively like working against you, preventing you from getting any given job. This might include things like candidate pool size. Maybe there's just too many people applying. Maybe the timing in which you chose to apply, like maybe all the interview candidates were like already selected and they just didn't take the job posting down and then you applied. Maybe there's some company shenanigans going on behind the scenes. Like they had to post the job for some legal reasons, but they already had a candidate in place that they wanted and you you just applied to like a dummy job. There's all the isms that exist in the world, like nepotism, ageism, racism, sexism, nameism, you name it. It sucks that these things exist, but they do exist and they can prevent you from getting the job. Or maybe the person who's in charge of screening applicants is just an idiot. Like they didn't like what your resume looked like, even though it was fine. Or maybe your interviewer like didn't like the color of your shirt, just stuff like this. All this stuff is stuff that you don't have control over and you shouldn't focus on it or dwell on it too much. I've been rejected from tons of jobs, like many times times where it didn't make any sense to me at all like where I know I could do the job I interviewed super well I couldn't have interviewed any better and then in the end lo and behold like I just got a, an offer decline letter so keep in mind like just because you get rejected from jobs it doesn't mean that you're like a bad candidate or you did something wrong or you're just like not good enough it could be like any one of these things that are like totally out of your control and it's not something you should dwell on too much instead what you should do is focus your time and energy like really maxing out this this checklist for whatever your given field is I made checklists for IT and cybersecurity of things you can do. Focus on that, make yourself better, get certs, practice interviewing, review your resume, do like whatever you can to max out these things. The only thing you can do is the stuff that's in your control. And it's basically a numbers game. Like even if you have like 10% chance to get any given job, if you max out all these things and apply to like a bunch of jobs, eventually, inevitably, you're going to get hired somewhere. I have a bunch of different resources that can help with this. I have a playlist reviewing a whole bunch of resumes. You can kind of use that as a guideline and a bunch of resume templates in there to kind of help get your own resume squared away. I have another playlist of doing cybersecurity interview practice questions as well as a cybersecurity interview video that's dedicated to that. I have this video talking about different projects that you can do with videos corresponding to each one of those projects and a whole bunch of general career and job hunting advice. So check out all those videos. I'll leave a bunch of links in the descriptions. Super shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. Really appreciate it a lot. Everybody else, thank you so much for watching this far and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.